Next question. Jocko, please explain how working harder for an incompetent superior helps oneself. I feel like screw them and whatever lightning bolt of luck they were struck by to get in their position. <laughs> is that kind of like screw them and the horse they rode in on yeah, kind of thing? That yeah, is. Yeah. No, he's saying screw them and they they were they're they're in their position of superiority because they got lucky. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't screw get lucky. All that screw and them. them. Yeah. And uh, you know, here's the answer to that. It's like, okay, so what are you gonna do then? <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you gonna do then? Are you gonna sit around and wait for your own bolt of lightning of luck to hit you? <laughs> is that what you're gonna do? I don't recommend that. Instead, I, I, I recommend that you step up and yes, you do work harder. And you do the best possible job that you can do and you take some pride in what you're doing and how you're doing it and you do it better than they could not to rub their nose into it not to prove that you can do it better but out of professionalism that's why you do it now one outcome that can come from that is they get credit for your work and that makes you all mad no that's actually good because if they get credit for your work guess what the works going well they're gonna get promoted and they get the recognition. Okay, that's fine. But but they know where the actual credit goes, even if they don't give it to you. Even if they don't give it to you, they know it. Even if they're the type of person you could, th- that doesn't even realize that the, the, you're like, oh wow, I did all that work and he's taking all the credit for it. They don't even know that I made this happen or he doesn't even know that, he, that I made this happen. Yeah. They know, mm. they know. So as long as you can keep your ego in check and you can let them have the credit, eventually they get promoted, the team's doing well, you'll look good, you'll get promoted, your life is easy, you're gaining experience, you've got a good reputation, like everything is going in your direction. And and by the way, when that incompetent person does get promoted, who do they usually recommend that fills their spot? You, because you're the one that got them promoted. They're stoked on that. Now... You become a superstar. That's great. Eventually, they're going to get found out, by the way. Like, someone, incompetency can't be hidden forever. And eventually, yeah. someone says, wait a second, you don't even know how to do this. That was that was Echo Charles that was doing this, this whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to promote Echo. You're out of here. Th- that, that'll that happen. And when that happens, when that incompetency gets found out, then you will get the recognition you deserve. Because people said, oh, that wasn't Jocko doing all this stuff. This was Echo. Mm-hmm. And they go, oh, Jocko, you're done. So that, so that's something that can happen. Or another outcome that can happen is that they give you the credit that that you're due, which is great, and you still get promoted, and you may get promoted above them, which is fine too, or and or they might get promoted, which is fine. Stop worrying about it. So those two things, if you do a good job, eventually something good is going to come out of it. Whether it's they get, whether it's you both get promoted, whether it's they get promoted above you, whether it's you get promoted above them, it doesn't matter. All those outcomes, or maybe it's just the team continues to do well and your job is stress free and you continue to perform and and the 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 division that you're in grows and you get a chance to promote because everyone's getting promoted. It's like all good, all good stuff. Or you can be angry and you can be frustrated and you can blame your own bad luck and you can not work hard and you can not do a good job and you can be recognized as a slacker and you can get blamed by the incompetent boss when things do fall short. Because that's what the incompetent boss does. He doesn't step up and take ownership of it. He says, no, you know what? I would have done a better job, but Echo was slacking. That's the problem. Now Echo gets fired. And and guess what? Someone we hire someone else to come in and they start doing a good job the boss is still gonna look good <laughs> And still get promoted. It's just that you lost your job and by the way you lost your job with a bad reputation Now you can't even get a recommendation for a new job yeah. So you lose Jeez. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, so step up do your best It'll pay off in the long run. Yeah funny how like it's one of those things where if you can just flip the switch and see that just that one little thing and it's funny though too the way those the way these questions are framed you know what they want to hear is like no you know what if you got an incompetent boss you don't help him out you let him burn yeah that's what you do that's what people want to hear but it's it's the easy answer and it's not the smart answer and it's a short-term answer not a long-term answer make your boss look great how's that that's my goal i want to make my boss look great you know there, there was a little tell in the 
in the question too. I, I'm no expert, obviously, a but lightning I, bolt of luck. Of luck, yeah. So you know the whole deal, and this is even you can be a normal person and recognize this. Like people who are bitter. I'm not saying the asker of this question is bitter. I'm not saying that. I'm saying this is a the, the external scenario. But you know how if you get a bitter person who's just bitter in life, maybe not doing as well in life as they had you know had hoped or whatever, you'll probability wise you'll probably encounter them from time to time no more saying how the guy who is successful is lucky they're (laughs) lucky they had it given to them like all this all this other stuff me i'm not lucky whatever whatever but it's always the the successful guy is lucky always yeah they attribute other people's success to luck to luck for sure so the lightning bolt of luck and screw them you know kind of thing just that is indicative i'm not saying it is i'm not saying it is or isn't as far as this particular person but it tends to be like that and again like that just that switch if you can like turn on the switch and just look at it just like how you said it's not intuitive i get it man because it's it's like this i was in that situation where like literally i was doing the work so many think about this you just said you're in this situation almost everybody has been in this situation and here's the difference if you don't flip that switch and you're in this situation, your whole life goes down in the other direction. Yeah. That's Crazy. the real problem. That's yeah. why you meet people. You, you know, this is a, a thing I think about a lot. You, you know how you, you know people in your life, they're badasses, mm-hmm. but, they, but they're not going anywhere? Like, like you look at them and you go, man, this guy's smarter than me and, and a better athlete than me and a better speaker than me. But they're not going anywhere. And you know why? It's because at some point in their life, instead of saying, oh, wow, that guy's, that guy's lucky. That, that's what they do. At some point in their life, instead of saying, hey, that person worked to get in that situation and I should do the same. Instead of saying that, they say, oh, that person got lucky. Yeah. That's why they're there and I'm down here. Yeah. I'm you better can't than make, him. Yeah, you can't yeah. make the upward climb. If you don't say, you know what? Hey, that person m- might be a little luck there, but guess what? They're obviously working hard. They're obviously doing something right because I'm down here and they're up there. Yeah. How do I get up there? Yeah. The answer to get up there is not by tearing them down. The answer to get up there is by working hard. Yeah. Make them look good. That The line you said, so, um, what and so what are you going to do about it? Yeah, I what are you going to do about that's it? That's the switch right there. Because, I mean, you deal with it with kids. Obviously, I have some young kids. And, you know, same thing. Like, oh, this is how it is. Or this happened or, or whatever. Spilt milk. I don't know. Whatever. And, you know, the kid's crying. And so all this stuff. It's like, okay, so what are you going to do about it? So you can cry. You totally can. And you can complain about how junk that is that the milk got spilt or your toy broke or whatever the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's all true. It's absolutely true. And go ahead. You can cry or whatever. But if that's what you're going to do about it, then okay. Then that's what it's going to be. And that's all it's going to be. You're going to continue to cry. And you'll probably continue to cry next time it happens too. Or you clean up the milk. You fix your toy. Whatever. You know, whatever. What are you going to do about it? That's the whole yeah. thing, you know. What are you going to do about it? It's interesting too. There's like a just a known the the right answer seems really obvious when we talk about it right now, but yeah. not many people see that right answer. No, most people want to just be mad at their boss and be frustrated and undermine them and not work hard so that they don't get any shine on them. It's like okay, great, that's you're putting yourself in that barrel too. Yeah, don't do it. It's crazy, man. It's actually I shouldn't say it's crazy. It's it, it makes sense. I mean, I felt that before, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Next question. 